paradise all right y'all let's go ahead and get in this video so this is the obvious signs your ex trying to get your attention on social media just don't fall for it so the first obvious sign is this they start posting more now you know the person that you're dealing with they don't normally post a lot on social media they mostly like really don't post pictures like that but all of a sudden out the blue they start posting more quotes pictures what they doing that's an obvious dead giveaway sign they trying to get your attention because they know you're going to see it so the obvious number sign the obvious sign number two they pretty much if they're in a new relationship they started flaunting showing off showcasing their new little lover, their little painkiller, their new little new supply, so to say. They start showing them off on social media. When, just, if you really think about it, when you and this person was together, they really didn't show you off like that. But all of a sudden, they flaunting and showing this new person off. They're doing this to get your attention. Don't fall for it. Don't feed into it. Just ignore it. See, they get their power from you. You giving them attention is how they get their power. You don't get in no power. Just leave them alone. Remember, you're dealing with a grown ass child and a grown, I mean, pretty much you're dealing with a child in a grown body. Don't give them no attention. So the thing is, number three, obvious dead giveaway sign, they're doing revenge posts. What I mean by revenge posts is this they posting quotes like, oh my God, my life got better now. Since that, you know, so and so out my life, you know, what another person, what another person trash is another person treasure. That revenge post, they indirectly showing, telling you that I'm doing better without you. Don't fall for it. All they want you to do is respond to it. No response is the best response. Don't fall for that. So response number four, I mean, all dead giveaway sign number four. They post pictures, you know, um, about y'all, like post old pictures of, you know, the relationship that you and this other person was in, you and your ex was in, or, you know, you and this whoever, you fill in the blank. They post pictures, old pictures, trying to reminisce on the past, you know, like you know you remember when we went to this day or we ate at this restaurant or uh, this was the most happiest day of my life when i was the most happiest and stuff like that they're thinking about you they really want your attention they want you to respond or react to what they're doing do not give them any attention remember remember your attention is like is power your attention is like currency it's like money be careful how you hand it out everybody don't deserve your attention not everybody remember once you break up with this person or broken up with this person they on the other side you know they dead to you let them stay dead the other sign is this sign number five they start posting about their achievements or how they coming up in life, the things they accomplish. I understand this. They only doing this stuff so they can get a reaction out of you. That's why, that's why they trying to rub it in your face like I'm doing better without you. Do not respond to this. Do not give it no attention whatsoever. Because that's all they want at the end of the day. They just want you to respond. And they just want you want your attention. That's it. So number six, and the final one is this. They add you on new platforms. They let's say for example, they create a fake account, a burner account, a dummy account, and then they add you on it. I mean, it's a dead giveaway, it's them. They're just doing that so they can watch your activity. If you post something, they can you know stay up, you know, stay up on beat of what you're doing. They all want your attention. The truth to be told, they want to feel like they're doing better than you since y'all broke up. The reason why it feeds their ego. Don't feed their ego. Just leave them alone. 
just like, okay, whatever. Don't take them serious. Remember, these people in question cannot be satisfied. No matter what you do or how you do it, they can't be satisfied. And you can't take them serious. So remember this going forward. Sometimes, just sometimes, it pays to be heartless. I'd rather you be heartless than heartbroken. You understand? But this is another short video getting straight to the point. If you need to get in contact with me, you can send me an email. Or you can text me on WhatsApp. The number is, is here. It's on the screen. Also, you can check out my audio books, my books on Amazon. And you can follow me on Spotify. Now, with that being said, I want you to stay prayed up. Watch out for one another. And take care of yourself. Peace.